What's up guys, Brian here, and the single mom apocalypse is upon us. And you know I'm you know what I'm talking about, guys. We've seen it out there. Let's look at a few statistics and let's talk about the situation here. About one third of US children are living with an unmarried parent. Okay, well, let's dive into this a little bit deeper. And in 1968, 85% of you know, children were being raised by married parents. In 1997, 68%, and then by 2017, 65%. So it is trending further and further towards single parents. Um, and then as we see solo mothers, 12% in 1968, 22% in 1997, and 21% in 2017. Now, you also have the parent cohabitation situation where they're not married, but then they're potentially, you know, both there raising the kid. Uh, now, why is this in general? Well, a lot of reasons. So marriage originally, you know, marriage originally or, um, you know, just two people being together and living together and all that kind of stuff was more of a survival tactic for women um, that it was and then for the man it would be to obviously like continue his his genes you know to have you know whatever companionship and have this person they're gonna have a kid together and stuff like that and so women kind of needed men more in the fact that obviously their their ability to get you know equivalent um, compensation and the job market and all that kind of stuff wasn't there. You know, it, you know, we can go back 150 years, 250 years, and that kind of stuff. Um, and it was more of a survival tactic, you know, for women. So as time has went on, it's actually financially advantageous for them to actually push the man away. And this is the ridiculous thing that we're dealing with in this society now. And I have seen it so many times that these women, they get knocked up and then their whole thing is it's like they're kicking the guy out of their life. It's not necessarily all the time that the guy is leaving. Yeah, are there deadbeat dads and all that kind of stuff and that they leave? Yeah, there are. There are. But a lot of times it's these women that are actually kicking the man out of their life. Like, oh, he's no good for me. I don't want him to be a part of my daughter's life. He's a bucket of worms. I mean, I've heard women say this kind of stuff, and that's a very, very big red flag and you want to run, put your track spikes on, and you want to run as fast as you can, because you got to think in your head, okay, this woman decided to not only have sex with this man, but she had unprotected, under, unprotected sex while she was ovulating. Guys, it's not like you can get a, a woman pregnant like every day of the month or whatever. She has to be ovulating. So, Things have to be kind of a perfect storm. And yes, if you're having marathon sex and she's ovulating and stuff like that, yes, she's probably going to get pregnant if she's fertile. Um, you know, but obviously a lot of times it wasn't just a one night thing. Most of the times, you know, it was going to be that they were, you know, banging each other's brains out for a while. Um, so she decided that, you know, that was fine and she accepted him to be able to do that. But then like suddenly it's like she's pregnant and then she doesn't want to have anything to do with this guy. What do you think she's going to do to you if you latch on to her and you're taking care of her and doing all this kind of stuff if she just decides, you know what, I don't like this guy. This guy's a bucket of worms too. And she's just going to get rid of you too. I mean, she's not even sticking around with the guy who she had a kid with. Now, there's always exceptions to the rule. And yes, you know, yes, women, I mean, I understand that um, if there's any women out there watching, which there probably isn't that many, um, but if there is, it's just like, okay, yeah, if your husband died in a fighter pilot, you know, test pilot crash or something like that, or there's other, some other weird kind of situation or something, then, okay, you get a pass. Um, and, yeah, are there bad guys out there? Maybe, like, a woman did get deceived by a man or something like that, and she it was the best situation for her and the kids to leave the man. Yeah, I mean... You know, that, that that does happen, but every time I hear this, I'm a little bit skeptical. For one, because the statistics, 80% of women initiate divorce. 80% of the time, it's the woman who initiates divorce. So that right there tells you it's actually advantageous for them financially and just for what they want 
to kick the man out of, the, out of their life and let the state take care of them or let the man take care of them from a distance uh, via child support and alimony. So it's just a dangerous game. And I don't recommend that guys get married unless they're going to have kids with that woman. And then if you're going to have kids with the woman, you're going to have to vet her for, you know, two, maybe three years, you know, kind of thing. This whole situation of people getting in some relationship and all, it was just, it was just love at first sight and all this kind of stuff. And then within two months, they're like going to get married and stuff. I mean, it's just, it's absolutely ludicrous. And if she has kids, especially if she has kids from multiple men, if you're a single man with no kids, just get out of there. It's just, you you need to sober up. I, I hate to say it that way. I've fallen into the situation mentally, and I've had friends that actually have advanced game and actually have had a fair amount of success with, with women that have fallen into this to this trap as well. Of um, And I know why it is, guys. I know why it is, because she's hot. <laughs> because you're like, man, she's hot. Or you have limited opportunities around your area. Maybe you live in a smaller town. Um, those kind of things. So it's almost like you got to get yourself into a situation where you're in a place where there's lots of women and you got to get yourself in a place where there's lots of high quality women. Um, eventually we'll talk about some of these places, but you know, just places off the cuff, you know, Phoenix, Arizona, uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Dallas, Fort Worth, uh, these kind of places, you know, those are going to be your best bet. If you're a single man, no kids, that kind of thing. Um, and I know it's like, well, how are you going to uproot your life? You know, all this kind of stuff. It's just, you might have to do that if, if this is, if this is a route that you're wanting to go of, you know, finding a high quality woman and not almost like destroying your entire life by, um, <laughs> latching onto some of these succubus as, um, <laughs> as some other YouTubers have, have kind of phrased it and everything. So, you know, let's dive a little bit further into these statistics though. It is pretty shocking. And then, you know, it even goes into different races. So race of the child, like um, only 36% of the time, you know, is are there married parents in a black child's like life, which is crazy. Hispanic, 62%, white, 74%. And then Asians coming in at the highest 85% of the time, an Asian child has two parents. You know, so it kind of shows you that a lot of these Asian households, and it does seem this way that they're very like family oriented. Um, they're very family oriented and more traditional, I guess you could say. Um, so it is, it, it is pretty, pretty alarming here. Now, solo mothers, almost half the time, nearly half of black children live with a solo mom. This is very, very, very devastating for any race, it doesn't matter, Asian, white, Hispanic, black, it, this is very devastating because a child needs their man, or they, their child needs their father and they need their mother equally, you know, to, to be raised properly and to learn stuff from like both their mom and their dad. And the statistics are not good for these, you know, single, like, kids that are raised by single moms, there's not a very, very good uh, statistical outcome for their lives as far as um, in, income potential, staying out of being incarcerated, these kind of things and having issues because they didn't have that balance. They didn't have the discipline. They weren't, you know, they didn't learn things from, a, um, from their mother and their father being in the household and creating that structure and not letting them just kind of like go off, get with the wrong crews, you know, that kind of thing. So um, this is a very, very, and that's why I say it's a single mom apocalypse because it, it just kind of spirals out of control to where entire kind of neighborhoods or con entire populations can just be kind of devastated in poverty and they're just in this vicious cycle and they don't know any different. It's like, who do you learn the most from? Well, it's your parents, whether it's some of your financial values or, or these kind of things or just like having structure and having someone say, hey, you got to do your homework. You know, just these little things over time. It just instills discipline. So, you know, kids need their mom and they need their dad. Um, you know, so it's just not looking go good, guys. Now, as far as the dating scene, you just don't want these problems to be yours. And again, I've fallen into it. 
personally, I've fallen into it where I've passed on my better judgment and I've had very, very high level friends that are males fall into the same trap as well, where they end up with a single mom. And it's a, it's always because they're hot. I tell a couple stories about this. I had a friend up in Seattle that, you know, he actually was with a, a single mom and, you know, she was hot, all this kind of stuff. And then it, it was weird because, you know, he invested a lot into her, really like t- was taking care of her daughter, taking her daughter to soccer practice, all this kind of stuff. And then ultimately she just kind of turned on him. And then about the time he's trying to figure out, hey, what's going on, you know, with this stuff, then she filed a restraining order on him. And the way the laws are, like if someone says, don't talk to me. And then you like text them after that, like, hey, I just want to talk about it. That actually, like, b- like legally can be basically taken as, hey, you're stalking her. You're going after her. She said, don't contact me, and you texted her. So you're going after her. And then they'll, you know, hand out these restraining orders like it's Halloween candy um, in some of these states. So you're in a bad situation, and then that can really, like, screw up your life and everything. And... Um, you know, a lot of times, once again, I mean, why did she leave the father of her child? It's a good question. You know, was it a legitimate reason or was it just her just being a psychopath in training and she's never satisfied and she can't work anything out? She's creating all kinds of drama. And then guess what? Suddenly my friend's getting a restraining order. You know, they're, she's trying to place a restraining order against him. And he had like loaned her money, all this kind of stuff, had been like taking her daughter to soccer practice, all this kind of stuff. They'd been together for a while, like maybe like a year and a half, two years kind of thing. And she just flipped out one day. Um, So, you know, it it really kind of derailed his life for a couple years. Um, Luckily, he didn't get issued this restraining order or whatever. And so that was never like kind of a part of his record or whatever. Um, And he, you know, he was able to get out of the situation. And then that was that. Um, but I don't think she ever paid him back the money that he loaned her. So it could just be a mess, guys. And I've just seen it so many times. Um, and I've seen all kinds of just, you know, baby baby mama drama, baby daddy drama, just all this kind of stuff going on. You don't want to clout. If you're a single man, no kids, run. Just, just get out of it. <laughs> if she's hot, eh, maybe you hang out with her or something. But... Don't get yourself intertangled. Don't get one-itis on her because ultimately she isn't, you know, you're not going to be able to, It's, it's there's, no, there's not going to be a future in it because at some point you're going to sober up. You're going to sober up to a certain respect and you're going to be like, well, would I marry this woman? And if you're thinking logically, the answer is probably going to be no. You know, it's just like you're better off uprooting your life and moving to one of these cities with like, a large number of high quality women. Again, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Phoenix, Arizona, uh, Dallas, Fort Worth, you know, these types of places. So anyway, guys, what do you think? Have you guys ever got tangled up with a single mom and it ended up being a nightmare? And then you're just like, what was I doing? I knew I shouldn't have. I knew I shouldn't have. And then you ended up in this bad situation. Leave some comments below. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and I'll check you guys in the next video. See ya.